Yesterday, we told you about the woman who has persistent genital arousal disorder. That's right. Persistent genital arousal disorder. It caused her to have over 100 orgasms per day. No matter what she was doing, housework, riding on the train into work, she was constantly stimulated and would begin to convulse in a series of rapid-fire orgasms no matter what she did. Doctors say there is no cure, and they've actually kind of inv- like invented this persistent genital arousal disorder mm-hmm. and are hoping to maybe classify it so that they may be able to research it further because they estimate that they're one in one pardon me for one second hi dve diabetes to you randall it's <laughs> wilford brimley yeah hi wilford persistent genital arousal disorder my aunt fanny that young woman's got the diabetes no i don't think so <laughs> i don't think having constant orgasms is a symptom of diabetes yeah, well, let me tell you something, sir. Oh, oh, Wilford. Wilford. Wilford, are you all right? Diabetes. Okay. <laughs> Little known fact about the beatus. Yeah. If you're prone to having a constant birthday party in your pants, oh, yeah. that's a telltale sign of acute diet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Beatus. Beatus. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Lucky for that lady in New Jersey. Uh huh. Liberty Medical wants to help. Oh, yeah? How so? They're going to send her a box. Yeah? What's in the box? (laughs) Uh, Rubber panties and a pack of cigarettes. (laughs) She's going to need them. Oh, 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 Wilford, I believe he's sleeping. Wilford, 